Hey everybody, this week we're going to be talking about petrified wood. And look at this gorgeous assortment of petrified wood I have here. Let me get my light down here a little better so we could see it. And this stuff is like ancient candy. Look at how beautiful that is. Just gorgeous, gorgeous material. So what are we going to learn today about petrified wood? Well, one thing I could tell you right off the bat, this stuff is millions, millions of years old. And it is found everywhere, everywhere in the world, everywhere. And it all, depending on the trees from ancient times, it, it looks a little different. So my personal favorite is the red type like this. Now this stuff is from Arizona and just in its rough state, it's really beautiful. Or as you can see here, same material, this is polished, even more beautiful. Still prefer the rough, but absolutely beautiful. Then we have, I believe this is from Indonesia and I don't think this has any crystallization on it, but what happens is petrified wood, the longer it lays, it just crystallizes. I mean, petrified wood is, it means to turn stone into, or excuse me, to turn wood into a stone. And that's exactly what's happening over millions of years. It turns into a stone. And here's some good example in this piece, which is a huge slice. Look at how thick that thing is too. There's tons of crystallization in there. I don't know if you can see that. Just beautiful stuff. And the cool part of petrified wood, whoops, is that it crystallizes in not only just the crystals, just the bands and everything, like especially when it's polished, and cut and polish like this, you could see the bands that come out of this. I mean, you never know what you're going to get. You never know what's in the middle. It's just gorgeous. And it really is like candy for the eyes. I mean, each piece is different and you never know what you're going to find and get. So also great to collect for collectors. Um, a lot of people will go out looking for petrified wood, depending on what state. I know like in uh, Arizona, you could go hunting for it. Uh, Missouri, Mississippi. I mean, this stuff is everywhere. Just got to know what you're looking for and where to look. But we're going to be talking about the metaphysical properties. So now what can you use this for? So right out of the gate, one thing to do whenever you're, no matter what crystal, mineral, whatever you're looking for, look up its original ancient uses. That's an important thing. And I love to do that. And I love to look to see first what I come up with and what I feel when I meditate with it. I base my own opinions on things. And I mean, what works and what somebody feels, maybe the not, you know, maybe the next guy feels different vibrations, different energies, but all in all, you're going to feel pretty much the same stuff kind of subtle energies with this, but I always go back to the root of the ancient times. What did the ancient people from Greek and, and, and Egypt and all that, what did they use it for? What did they feel? And they believed petrified wood possessed divine power. So right there tells you this stuff, just like a lot of crystals in ancient times, was used frequently and they believed it had divine power. So you're not going to just make something like that up back then and just, you know, this is recorded through the ages, ages of history. So that's always a good starting block for me when I'm researching things, but that should be with anything. Look up what the indigenous tribes used it for. Look up from the ancient cultures what they used it for. But we are going to be looking at its different uses today, and 
one thing I want to get through is talking about it's wonderful to use when you're trying to recall past lives. So before I get into some of the major uses with petrified wood, past life recall, this is one of those where there are other items, of course, that are good. Petrified wood is one of them that you have to consider a go-to if that's your intention. If you're looking to remember past lives, uh, anything like that, you're looking to use petrified wood. It should be definitely utilized for that specific reason. So if you meditate with this, you're going to get, and this is what I get. Now, I'm not going to say I remember all these crazy past lives. And I mean, you really have to go deep in meditation to come out with this. But what I get from it is flashes, just flashes of past lives. And that's, you're not going to have, you know, it's like flipping on a TV and, hey, there's Johnny from, you know, back in... 200 BC and Johnny was a fisherman. I mean, that would be fantastic, but you're going to get bits and pieces of this information. And this will open it up, open up those channels when you're meditating. As long as you, if this is what your intention is, don't forget, this is crystallized. This is loaded with crystals all through it. And if you put this under a microscope, you're going to see tons of crystal formations. You can essentially program petrified wood, just like you would a piece of quartz because it's loaded with quartz in, in, in between there. So if you, your intention is you want to get as much information out of your past lives, that's what you're, you set your intention for, and that's what you should do. And you're going to get those flashes, remembering different events, different things from lifetimes ago. And it might only be little quick flashes of that are two seconds or less. But if you keep working with it enough, you could piece stuff together. You could remember certain things here and there, little little moments in, in on the timeline that from when you've been here before. So if that's your intention and you want to work with, do some past life recall, this is definitely a great stone to work with. Absolutely. That's... I mean, if anybody were to ask me right out of the gate, what's a great past life stone to work with? It's one of my top answers is petrified wood. Definite. It's going to connect you, which is the next thing. It's, it's, this is everywhere. It's all over the world. And it should act as almost like a reminder that we are all connected. doesn't matter where we live. And that's another thing petrified wood does when you meditate it brings you to that source level. Just everything is connected and from all over the world, the energy of petrified wood, it just shows we are all connected. We are all one. And it really takes its roots deep into nature. I mean, this is just great, just a deep, deep anchor to the earth, petrified wood. So that is going to be the next thing we're going into. And then I'm going to get to the big number one thing it does. And like I said, it's an anchor into the earth. It has deep, deep, ancient earth energy. And you could use that energy. And when you're working with it, it's a very grounding energy, which is great for the root chakra. It, this is definitely a root chakra stone. It actually works with all chakras, but its grounding ability is wonderful, especially this Arizona petrified wood with the deep red and yellow. It works with just deeply connecting you with the ancient earth energy in that deep root chakra energy, just that ancient ancestral wisdom. And it's going to enhance your spiritual consciousness. And the biggest thing this is going to do for you is dispel fear. Now, right out of the gate, maybe everybody, it's not for everybody saying, oh, well, I'm not scared of anything. 
that's kind of not what I'm getting at. Well, it is in a way, but when I say fear, think more of anxiety, think more of fear of, I can't do this, I can't do that, I'm scared to get hurt, I'm not going to take a chance. That is the type of fears that I'm talking about. And this is great. As a root chakra stone, it anchors you and it gets rid of all those fears you have to take that next step that's holding you back from whatever your fear is. And this is fantastic for dispelling fears. This will get rid of those fears and allow you to move forward. And fear, at first glance, it's not like, you know, we're fighting zombies and, oh, I'm scared to do... I'm talking about daily life type of fear. And that goes along with anxiety as well. Now, as a disclaimer, I'm not saying replace your anxiety medication or your, you know, stop going to a doctor. But I'm, I'm trying to say that this, from an energetic level, is perfect for dispelling fears and unwanted anxieties about like, oh, I'm never going to be able to do that. I'm scared I'm going to just lose and I'm just not going to do it. I'm just not going to even try. That is the worst thing you can do. But it happens. I get it. This should be 100% used for that. This will dispel all that panic and fear and help you to move forward and take that next step in whatever it is. Maybe it's business. Maybe it's sports. Maybe whatever it is. Maybe it's asking some somebody out that you're, you know, scared to grab some petrified wood and go after them. <laughs> now, if you keep working with it, it has just that primal energy. Just it, it, petrified wood is like kind of like a, a jasper in a way. I view jasper it's like you're you're reaching down in the in the the earth and just pulling up that dark red clay and you're just connected. And red jasper, again, that's another beautiful uh, grounding uh, root chakra stone. And, and petrified wood should be right there with it. I would personally use the reddish ones, but it, it doesn't matter. These, these other ones are just as potent with that. And I wish I could get the crystallation to show up on these. I, I can barely see it myself. I don't think it's showing up on the camera, but a lot of these have druzy quartz just coating them. This one, not so much, actually, now that I'm looking, but we got another huge piece here. Look at this thing. I mean, gorgeous. And another one like this, I again, I like in the rough state, if you were to cut this up, you would see similar to this. This is from Indonesia, just gorgeous bands. I mean, that's kind of this, the, the material there. Just beautiful stuff. And you never know what you're going to get. I've seen huge pieces of petrified wood, which can be pretty pricey. This is a piece of, piece of petrified wood, too. And this is not, it's a branch. It's a little, you know, a little statue type thing. But I'm not saying that this is, you know, a branch that fell off just like this. They cut this and polish it to look like a little branch. But... Kind of cool. Figured I'd bring it in. And this is something easy to work with, too, if you're, you know, concerned about size. But gorgeous material. Another thing, if you're cleansing it, water works perfectly. Uh, if you want to charge it, toss it in the sunlight. Nothing better than charging up your petrified wood with the sun. Just perfect for that. So that's pretty much it. All about petrified wood. To recap, definitely use this in your arsenal if you want to recall past lives and get some flashes of that. I would put this in your arsenal for, I mean, definitely use this for past life recall. Definitely try it for past life recall and you, you'll be surprised. Um, what else? We have the grounding root chakra energies, just a deep connection in nature and not just nature, just to everything. Just wonderful. And the biggest is dispelling fear. And dispelling fear on your daily life so you can move forward with whatever you're interested in tackling. 
business, sports, anything. Anytime you have that doubt and fear holding you back, that anxiety, that panic, this will get rid of it. And it's just known for that. That's its number one use, in my opinion, is to dispel fear. And fear does nothing but hold you back. You got to learn from your mistakes if you consider it a mistake. I don't even think there are mistakes. Well, maybe some. But you, you got to learn if you view it as a mistake. It's a learning experience. But don't let things hold you back from trying them. And this is the number one use of petrified wood. To spell that fear. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. And I will be back next week. See you guys. 